So man, they saying King Von dropped. First he put 50k on him, then they put a, then he put 100k on FBG Duck. Um, before I get started with this, I want y'all to know y'all ain't cool for getting it. Y'all didn't get in my comment section and let me know I had a booger in one of my no in my nose on that um on my last video I made. I went back and proofread it. But I had a few views on there, so I couldn't erase it and redo it. But I had a cool little, you know what I mean? And y'all didn't nobody tell me about that. So y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to get on y'all shit. But King Von just tried to do too much, man. Y'all got to understand, there's still a God out here. I know it's all oh, this God ain't real. Preachers are pimps and old morals ain't, you know, every every old tradition we got. It ain't, it don't work no more all of a sudden. It's just all of a sudden everything is, you can create a new theory every day. Man, God's still real, man. Demons are still bad. God ain't finna let you kill all these people, become a huge rap star, drop 100K on somebody's head, jump on Rondo. Like, King Von was just doing too much, man. He, I, he was just doing too much, man. That's all. Ain't no telling what he, how many kids he would have turned out if he would have stayed alive, and ain't no telling how many kids he turned out. You know, just that demon. I'm a devil. I'm a demonic. I'm de black people ain't never been into calling themselves demons and shit. Black people ain't never been into Satan worshiping and all that shit. And what you seen with King Von was basically, I think it was the opposite of Jesus. It was a crucifixion of a demon in front of everybody. Charleston White spoke on it. You know, it was a crucifixion before the world of a demon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, King Von was just doing too much, bro. Then we find out you didn't kill KI. You thought you was gonna put 100K on FBG Duckhead and then give everybody old block chains and just do all that in front of everybody. Karma is precise, quick, and swift, man. Karma is not, karma, the karma that female that everybody got a fool with. And I just feel like that was karma, man. We ain't never seen nobody dead body be put on the internet like that. When I seen that, I, sent, I said, man, them, this nigga must have been sent. For them to do him like that, to put his dead body on the internet like that, that let you know, man. God had to come down. Like, hold on, now, this, this, hold, this is going too far. God was like, look, Look, man, I got to come intervene. I got to come I gotta come down to earth and, and, and intervene. This is getting out of control. Like, all these people claiming demons. We got this dude who actually didn't kill people. All he cared about is killing the ops. He rich as hell. All he cared about is killing the ops. And his image was just too perfect. It was just too negative. It was just too demonic. It was just, if you worship that gangster shit, King Von was just too perfect for y'all to emulate. This dude, good looking, could rap, looked like he had all the bravado. I went to jail, was able to fight, able to kill. It was just too much, man. I think God was just like, man, you dropping a hundred K. And it makes sense. That's why everybody, that's why them niggas was rushing in their car. That's why, that's why they, it makes sense. It make a lot of sense. That's why they was running to their car. That's why they did it in front of everybody. They wanted that bag, man. 25K split between like four people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I mean, when it come to King Von, man, he just had to be stopped, man. I think God just, God just said, hey, man, he had a song about accidentally, about shooting his cousin and all, you know, and it just was too much, man, you know. And there, there are Vons out there. Like, there's really Vons out there, you know? But honestly, I just think the karma of everything just caught up with Von, man. You just, you can't be that that bloodthirsty and be on a large scale like that. The industry didn't kill him. Uh, another rapper kind of killed him, but it wasn't even that. It's the fear of what he could do is what got him killed. I think when he jumped on Rondo, I think Lil Tim was like, man, that's Von beating him up. Them Chicago niggas doing that. I got to do something. I think I think the mystique he built as far as being so dangerous and being just a top goon, I think that's what that's what made niggas go into panic mode. 
and kill him. The police get scared of people and kill him. I think Tim was like, you know, I ain't gonna say Tim did God's work, but it's a real demon out here just jumping on my pot. Yeah, man, that you can't you can't thug on that much of a large scale, man. You can't do it. You can't. You know, King Von should have knew he beat them bodies and kind of just sat back and stay low. You know, stay low key, man. A lot of dudes is getting caught because they want to be on Front Street. The mob taught y'all. The mafia caught the Rico and everything, but the, like, you know, they the mafia keep everything low. They keep everything low. They don't want nobody to know. And I just think when you're a rapper, you, everybody, it's the total opposite. Everybody got to know. Everybody, I, I know, man, I, it's people, I ain't going to say like nothing like that because I don't want people trying to you know the police trying to contact me but these people like king von exist and they just chilling and they got a hell of a story to tell but they're not rapping about it don't the, the hood know about it few people know about it but uh shit i done heard some cold stories about you know that like like i'm from the era where niggas didn't want to be known I, i'll tell you a story that i heard about uh this is a story i heard about this dude was known for doing so much shit to people. His name had got so big, he would deny murders. He would then people would be like, man, did you that was your word? Oh no, that wasn't even me, man. He's sitting there with blood on his shoes, blood speckles on his shoes, like, yeah, man, now that they got him. Man, I didn't even, you know, he he had got so many bodies, he would denounce bodies. Did you do it or did Woody Woo from Third Street? Woody Woo from Third Street did it. And then he did it. He didn't, he didn't even want the fame, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how it used to be. But when you're a rapper, you know, you're playing it close, trying to uh, put that kind of energy out there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this nigga, it was, it was this nigga, he, he'd be then got into a shootout and niggas would be then heard about it and he'd come around out of breath or with graze wounds acting like nothing happened. What? Did you, you know, did you, it, it was a shootout? I mean, I didn't even know about it, man. Didn't even really want nobody to even know he did that shit. So that just go to show how extremely different these times is now. But yeah, bro, uh, King Von, man, God wasn't gonna let you do all that, man. That, that's just that. I, that's really what I believe, man. God just wasn't gonna let you do all that. 